Hey guys, what's up? If today's video seems like a random video, it's because I have no idea what I'm talking about, but let's go. I don't care. Regina, please! Regina, stop! Do you know what everyone says? Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another The Fashion Of video, and today we're going to be talking about the fashion of the strawberry dress. I'm sure that a lot of you guys have seen this on either TikTok or there's been tons of YouTube videos about it or on Instagram but let's talk about kind of my opinions on the strawberry dress and kind of some of the controversies around um, this particular design. So the strawberry dress was made by Erika Matoshi. She's a New York City designer and um, there's been a lot of kind of stuff on the internet about um, it being overpriced. Currently the dress I believe is $490 on her website. Um, it's all handmade and honestly this is not bad at all for a designer dress especially from a brand that is um, up and coming. It's kind of like a small business you would say in the fashion industry um, and I would give the example for instance like a Gucci shirt right now if you were to go on the website a t-shirt so basically just a plain printed on t-shirt is retailing right now for $690 um, for something that probably costs them around five to ten bucks to make maybe twenty dollars depending on the material of the t-shirt um, but that being said a handmade um, custom dress um, $400 in my opinion is actually really really cheap but now we're kind of getting into the conversation about how i think fast fashion and kind of this dupes market has led us to being kind of spoiled you know i've been seeing a lot of tiktoks and stuff especially in um terms of like dhg and like aliexpress talking about you know finding dupes for like designer bags like louis vuitton or gucci or like other brands like that and i feel now we have this common kind of urge to find like the best deal on things like we really want to have like the best deal um on bags and like why should i pay full price when i could get it somewhere cheaper and even if it's a little bit lesser quality it's still like 300 dollars cheaper and I feel like since we've made up this mentality, when we start um, talking about, you know, independent designers and small businesses, you know, now we're kind of entering with the mindset of how can I dupe this? How can I make this cheaper? And that being said, I understand that $490 is a lot for something like the strawberry dress, which I can't imagine you wearing very often. It's kind of like something you would wear to like a nice dinner, an Instagram photo shoot, you know, I can't see you wearing this dress like every single week. But that being said, you know, that doesn't devalue the craftsmanship that went into making the dress. I've seen versions of this on Amazon, AliExpress, um, Wish, and other different brands like that, that have been as low as $20. But then again, you're getting a $20 version of something that's not gonna look good at all. Maybe you can manipulate it to look good in an Instagram picture, but at that point, why even bother spending 20 bucks on something that's gonna obviously be fake, you know? I think my main gripe with this too is kind of how now, in order to appeal to aesthetics, we need to always be on trend, even if it means I'm getting something bootlegged or something that's not real. You know, I've seen so many fake versions of the Dior saddlebag and different other LV products um, used on Instagram. And on Instagram, they look real because at a distance and with editing, we can kind of manipulate that kind of aesthetic. But we're playing into this horrible market of basically making designer fast fashion. A lot of these brands that we're getting products from like DHG, AliExpress, Wish is very very harmful not only for a designer aspect but for the environment and it goes into this huge um, topic about fast fashion which you know I'll probably get into that like another day but there are so many videos about fast fashion and how horrible it is for the environment. Um, that being said I understand the gripe of fast fashion like Clothes are expensive, and especially nowadays, like, 
even fast fashion, fast fashion, hello, is really expensive. For instance, like Urban Outfitters could run you about like 90 bucks for like a pair of pants, which for the common individual in the modern class, that's a lot of money to throw down on a pair of pants, you know? And the kind of aspect of being like socially con like conscious and like really like trying to do your part for the environment and not shop fast fashion is really hard and expensive and a lot of people just cannot do that and i'm not frowning upon anybody who does that because i still have to shop at fast fashion and i try my best to you know shop ethically and stuff but in this day and age we really can't afford to shop at ethical brands that being said we should try to do the best we can and not promote it as much as we do online, especially with these dupes from AliExpress and Wish and stuff like that, which these are kind of like the head tier horrible companies that do basically nonsense stuff in order to make these less than quality bags and outfits for a really low price. My next topic I want to talk about is, let me get the girl's name yes Tess Holiday. she is a plus size model I was not familiar with her whatsoever before the situation so I have no prior knowledge to her or any opinions about her work but she was basically like destroyed on the Grammys carpet for wearing this dress um, I believe in winter of last year this is uh, like an older dress this is not part of like a new collection this is an older collection from a couple seasons ago and while I do agree yes um, in my opinion, it probably wasn't the best thing to wear um, during this kind of era or specifically during the Grammys. I don't think that it deserved that much hate. That said, I do understand the kind of influence that these kind of fashion um, websites have that they need to have this like best and worst dressed of, you know, the Grammys, the VMAs and stuff like that. So I'm not really surprised that something like this ended up on the list because it doesn't really fit the aesthetic set in place for these events. That being said though, I love this outfit and I think it looks absolutely amazing. And I think that out of all the looks, it's the one that really was ahead of fashion because in 2020, we're gonna get this huge uproar of cottage culture. I'm gonna do a video about it, so I'm not gonna really get into the specifics of kind of this new trend coming out with it. But let's get into my final wrap up. So what I think about the strawberry dress. So for my final wrap up about the strawberry dress, I think it's actually really, really nice. Um, the price in my opinion is justified. Um, and I really do hope to see a lot more outfits like this come to trend. Um, I love this aesthetic and I think it's super, super nice. And yeah, I really think that it deserves all the hype. So let me know down below what your opinions are on the strawberry dress and what you hope to see come into fashion soon in the next year or so. Okay, well, bye guys and have a great day.